and it's another fast one down here at 79th Street. Our guy in the teal shirt up here is kind of going off on his buddy in the truck. He definitely doesn't like the way he's packing this down, but the one thing I don't understand, these guys came off the same boat. If you don't like how he's doing it, jump in the truck and do it, my bro. But no, instead, we're going to sit here in side seat drive. He is definitely not thrilled, though. Hands have been in the air the whole entire time as this guy has been trying to back it down. But welcome back, crew, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, and as you can tell, today we are visiting the beautiful 79th Street Boat Ramp just across from Pelican Harbor Marina here in Miami. And our guys kind of paused for a moment as a truck's pulled in front of him, and I think it's thrown him off his game. But that truck was probably waiting for a few minutes while these guys were arguing over how they were going to get this trailer back down. So after a few moments, that truck winds up leaving, and the arguing begins again as our guy tries to back this down. There we go. It looks like he's got the wheels pointing in the right direction partially this time. But you can tell people are annoyed. I mean, this guy just drove around him. And here we go again, going the wrong way. But it's always funny to watch these to me. I mean, sure, I mean, sometimes you're gonna try and teach somebody how to do this. But the reality on a Saturday down here at 79th, this is not the place to do so. And if you really are that much better, just like I said, jump in and get it done. This is something that could have been done in a few moments. So he's gonna pull forward, try and reset one more time. And again, we're going to stop and block traffic. Now the guy in the teal shirt is getting annoyed again. As we're going to go ahead and load a kid in the car. And our guy in the jet ski went for the splits for a minute. I thought he might be going in the water. All right, so we're going to try this one more time. Slow turns, bro. Don't go too big. There we go. Nope, back the other way. Back the other way. There we go. A little 79th Street wobble action. I'll get it down. All right, start turning back. Not looking terrible this time. It's getting a little off, but once again, slow turns. He should be okay. <laughs> the guy in the teal shirt is just great, though. Just all over the place on telling him what to do. And it's not perfect, but I think it's going to get the job done as they continue to try and back it down. And he's gonna go forward again, leveled it back out. And looks good this time. I think he might get into the water and this crew might be able to get out of here. So our captain here is definitely not happy about something. It looks like he was saying he moved back for them once already. So obviously at some other point in time already here, our guys moved his boat back so this crew could come in, but he's trying to get his truck and trailer and they pulled in front of his boat now. And I'm just assuming he's gonna back that truck and trailer down and these guys are gonna be here and he's not gonna be able to load. And he's still not gonna be happy when he gets back. So our crew's coming in on approach. Cab looks like he's struggling though. Definitely all over the place on the throttle. Little whiskey throttle action happening. We've got somebody on the dock. This is kind of the point in time you just let that throttle go, bro, and let him pull you in. But man, they've gotten themselves into some mischief here. So Cab's gonna leave the helm. The boat's either off or in neutral, one of the two, and he looks like he's gonna try and step off the bow. They're gonna have to pull it around. 
Like I said, he was kind of all over the place in the throttle, man. When you get somebody on the dock with a line like that, I mean, you really definitely want to kind of go into neutral and rely on that person a little bit. Let them pull you up. Instead, Pura Vita decided to go heavy on the throttle. And now they've got to maneuver the Bayliner back around. There we go, we'll get it vertical on the dock and should be able to get it pulled up from here. And it for sure looks like they didn't intend to come in on a starboard side dock because the captain's over there barking some orders and it looks like he's trying to tell them to move the fenders over to the other side. And our cab's back. And these guys are still in his way. And he's definitely not happy. He's stuck waiting on them to move just to be able to load now. If these guys had any ramp courtesy at all, they would just kind of let him get by. I mean, easily they could pull off the dock, let him pull forward. Or, I mean, he could have pulled, I wouldn't have let them in front of me. I'd have just pulled my boat forward. Because these guys don't appear to be in any rush to go anywhere. <laughs> They're just big chilling. If he walks out to the bow, gets the lines on the ready. So Cap's coming in bow first. We've got the bow rail to contend with. Let's see how she handles that. Oh, she's gonna go wifey pro level underneath the rail, onto the dock. Sometimes it's a dangerous move. But she makes it look easy, has the lines and everything, and Cap's going to let it slow drift right onto the dock. And this crew's got it down. I always get nervous when I see that bow rail up there and what approach people are going to take. And that under the rail approach can be a risky one, but sometimes the reward, if you've got it down pat like she did, it makes life easy and they're good to roll. And speaking of good to roll, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Holliver Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Holliver Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.